So this is going to be SlowScan TV demo number two. I'm actually going to send a picture so you can see where we're going and we'll get into how to create the images and what have you in a moment. But again, we're looking at this virtual audio. That's what we're going to be listening for. And this is the microphone that I'm using when I transmit. This is the speaker I'm listening to with my earphone jack. And this is what the program will listen to. And you have to turn Mani on. If this isn't on, you're not going to see or decode anything. So for some reason or other, when you're transmitting, now you, it works fine on receive. But if you want to see what you're transmitting, you want to monitor your outgoing transmission, you have to turn on monitor. So given that, let me bring up the uh, ready program here, which is sitting down here in this directory. And it's called RX SSTV. So we're going to bring that up. And in this program, I put away this directory. This is the program we're going to use to actually decode the signal. First thing you got to do in setup is set up the sound card. So you come over here and you say uh, it's a recording issue. I want to come down here and there's a V Audio 9. It's already set to this default device. If you pick another one, you have to click on this set as default, which I've already done. So let me go back here. I'm going to pick this one set as default. It's not going to override these two settings. It's just going to say if Windows doesn't know anywhere else to go, go here. And when we run the uh, ready decoder, it's going to be listening on ICOM V Audio number nine. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab a. Now I programmed these uh, ready images into. Let me bring this back up again. I program into these memory locations. This thing is trying to jump around on me. So in this particular one, T4, I put in the converted WAV file that has the image of one of my dogs. So if I were to like just say uh, this one, let me click on this is just a voice one. It might be kind of quiet. Let me see if I can turn the volume up a little bit. I guess it is up quite a ways. But here's going to be a TV signal. So let me see if this actually works. Well, there we go. This program is picking up the signal that I'm transmitting. Now, I am using the lowest possible power on here. This is set down to RF power virtually nothing. I don't have any compression on or anything. Uh, I suppose I could, but I don't. And uh, this is the image as it's being sent. And if someone else was listening to me, they would see my dog come up. And at the end, there's going to be a FSK. Listen for it. That little FSK identifies me, and I put in W6FCC, so if someone's listening to this image, they will see it. The other thing people do is they actually put an image in the, the picture that they're sending, and it might say uh, DEW6FCC, Orange County, California, or something like that. So that's part two. Um, it, it works really well. You could do this approach where you do mod and you could actually pick a file off the list. And let me see if I can open a file. Uh, this may take some time to get to where I want to go. Uh, I want to come down here to uh, SSTV audio and I uh, want WAV files. That's obviously not it. Well, it's in here somewhere and uh, Here's SSTV audio up at the top. SST images and WAV files. No, that's not anything. Let's see, what do we got here? Oh, here's one. This is a 32-bit. Now, let's try this one. Let me pick this thing. Let me open it. I'm going to go, now I have to manually go into transmit mode. And I'm in the transmit mode. And now I'm going to send that thing. Whoops, that's the wrong thing. That's not what I thought it was. Well, we're getting lost in a uh, 
getting lost somewhere here. Space comms, float, SSTV, 8 kilohertz wave file. I don't know, what's this one? It'd be nice if I'd labeled these. Oh, what do you know? I guess I better label this space comms, because that's what it is. These are not bad looking images. And you can see here what it's sending. It's, uh, I believe most of these are supposed to be sent in upper sideband. I don't know if I'm in upper sideband or lower sideband. Let's say I'm in lower sideband. I probably should be in upper sideband and I should be on a frequency that is popular. But I'm not. And this is a fairly slow transmitting image. The other one was quite fast. This one's kind of slow. But, uh, this is slow scan TV. I think that first word tells the story. Get a little bit warbly sounding. Oh, this must be a sort of an extra image. Oh, look at that. It's the Earth. So if you like to watch grass grow or things like that, a big image like this might take forever to send. This one's really slow compared to my dog. And this program is doing a good job. It's picking it up in Robot 36 mode. It automatically detected that. And uh, I don't even know where this came from. But this is another image that was found out on the internet. And uh, looks interesting looks like a space station and there's going to be an ID at the end a call sign probably and if someone else was listening to me transmit this this is what they would see now when I did it this way I have to come back over here and I'm gonna to have to shut this off now I'm still transmitting and it's still in file mode see the transmitters it didn't go off automatically like it does when I use the other things and there's no audio for me I would have to pick mic which I can do right now if I want to but I want to stop whoops let me stop the transmission and then I go back over here testing and you can notice now that you're hearing me through both the direct mic and through the echo so I don't need to monitor myself when I'm doing this, but this is needed if you want to monitor the transmission. So how did we get here? This is uh, kind of cute. This is a nice little program. And you can take any image that you want to, and you can turn it into a slow scan TV image. So part two is done, W6FCC. Now we'll go on and see how we create an image.